Wolfpack, which is a do- documentary which played at Sundance, did very well, directed by Crystal Marcel, and it is the story of a group of brothers, long-haired brothers who she first spotted walking in the streets of New York, looking very striking, long hair, dark glasses, suit and shades, dressed in Reservoir Dogs drag. It was actually a rare outing for them. They were brothers who had grown up almost entirely cloistered from the world with their mother and father, their father, Oscar, who is very domineering, who believed that actually he wanted to keep them... Uh, safe from the corruption of the world. There was one entire year when they didn't leave the apartment at all. And now they were starting to find a certain amount of freedom. She found them fascinating and conducted interviews about this strange life that they had lived in an apartment on Lower East Side in which their primary contact with the world was through movies. Here's a clip. My parents didn't always encourage us to communicate with society. So we were kind of shut off. Always lived in this apartment in New York, Lower East Side, Manhattan. And we never really communicated with people. We were taught by our father not to talk to strangers, you know, the whole thing. But it was farther than that. It was like, don't even look at people. We didn't make any friends. We were homeschooled. Also the fear of, that my parents had, because it's New York, anything can happen. My father kind of, I think, I felt he overdid it. Like he was almost too worried, too concerned. It's an interesting film, not least because the way in which the boys learn about life is through watching movies like Pulp Fiction and The Dark Knight, which you would think would give someone a very strange version of the world. What's fascinating is that they have also learned performance skills because they reenacted and played out these movies, actually sometimes in, in a way which attracted the attention of the law. Um, but what you get is people who are almost camera-ready documentary subjects who have had a very unusual upbringing in which their you know, vision of the world has been filtered through modern popular cinema. They're very articulate, they're very um, you know, attractive company, and the documentary brings you into this strange world. There is a darkness lurking behind because the whole thing about what it is that the domineering father is really trying to do in keeping everybody within the apartment. There's a, a sequence in which we kind of, you know, we see the other side of this argument. It's an interesting, I don't think it's a brilliantly made documentary, but it's a very, very interesting subject.